we're getting down to the finishing touches on the build and this is the the parts for the these are the parts for the top hat um, there are a lot of heat inserts that need to go in here about four per each part so we're going to go ahead and take care of that now and these are at a little bit of a funny angle so i would just recommend doing one at a time um, and by now you should be a pro at these anyway okay this one's a little challenging the one in the middle and try to keep it at the angle that it's supposed to go in okay, i'm going to get this guy in here and they should all be flush with the plastic it looks like so you don't want to put them in too deep either no, I'm I'm not gonna record each piece, but basically that's what you got to do. Just make sure they're all flush. If you see a few that are, I laid out the top hat after I've set all the heat inserts in, and the way that you want to do this is the the short piece here is the part that's sticking up, um, and after that it's pretty easy to to lay out. So, um, and then and then this panel you're gonna want to remove the film if you have any, and then just set it in there. Okay, here's the proper positioning of all the plastic parts. Kind of see here. Um, the corner pieces are a little tricky. Uh, they're kind of like a maybe like a jigsaw puzzle, um, but they they all eventually fit. You just gotta kind of rotate them on there. And you do want to do them in order. Um, the square ones are first, and you're gonna use M38s in these and M312s in the corner pieces. Okay, these top hat parts are surprisingly tricky. Um, so the first piece you want to use are for the ends. And it's this piece, but it's not like you might think where it would be this way. You actually want to flip it over and go that way. So that's, I just got the first one done and I kind of started it and then I pushed the plastic in and then I finished it. So it seems to be holding. I was having a hard time getting this one in and the reason is, is my heat inset or insert is a little bit off. The angle's kind of a little bit too low, so I'm going to fix it with my soldering iron. And after fixing it now, this piece is going to fit in just fine. Um, and you can kind of see there that it lays in. So you might, if you're having problems, just double check that. Okay, now I've got this one in and this one in. The next one I'm going to do are these two. And then after that, you've got to fit these pieces in and they only go a certain way, but you may have to play around with them a little bit to get them to fit in, but they're going to hold in the corner pieces here. So, um, kind of a hint on these is the, the big piece here is where you want to try and fit it. So just look for the wider opening and, the, and, uh, and then it should just go right, oops. I think that one goes here. So you want the wider opening close. <clears throat> and then this piece here, last one. Okay, then we're just gonna put, these I think require I believe it's M12s, but I'm going to double check that. And before you put the corner pieces in, you need to slide in your the rest of your top hat and make sure you pick put the right ones in. And that should be pretty obvious because they only fit a certain way with the length. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and insert these plastic um, acrylic pieces. And of course, you're going to have to loosen your hard work on these bottom ones in order to fit those in. So just be real gentle and try not to, you know, completely pop them out. Okay. Okay, I was able to loosen this up enough where I could get the, the top and the bottom tightened. So um, I'm gonna do the same thing on this other end here. And then once I get those done, then I'm gonna do the, kind of repeat the process for this middle piece. Okay, I've inserted this piece in. It's helpful to have something to push against too on the end that's tight or that you've already done. So this one went in a lot easier than the other one. Once you get the first one done, it seems like it goes easier. And, we, and we're probably gonna have to adjust these too as we go. Okay, I uh, went ahead and inserted these. Now I'm going to um, fit the flat piece in. So this piece, it, it appears that it primarily holds the bottom. So there's not really any tension on this top piece. And that's what these, I think the inside corner pieces are gonna do. So that makes it a little bit easier to put in. And we're gonna do the same thing for this right hand side. And I've got this other piece in now. 
and I'm just going to finish putting the M8 screws or the M38 screws in here. And once I get that done, I'll be ready to move on to the corner pieces. And now I'm going to set in these um, larger pieces here. And again, just the tip is look for the, the wider side. That's how you know to <clears throat> where they go. And then you're going to need the M312s to put these in. I'm starting with this corner here. They're actually going in pretty easily. But these hold the corners real nice and tight. So it's definitely doing its job. And getting the next one in. Make sure they're sitting in there flush too. Okay, and the last one. All right, it's good to go. If I did it right, nothing should fall out. Yep, I do got a little bit of a mess on this glass or on this acrylic, so I'll probably give it a good wipe down. And probably now's a good time if you got some spots that aren't, maybe need a little adjustment, like like these uh, sides here. I'm gonna try and do that so the screw tension's even. That snaps into place. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, everything's pretty even, even enough. Now, other than it just being a little dirty, uh, there's a few final parts that you have to put on. Okay, now each of the corners are gonna get a part like this. You're gonna want this little nub sticking up, and then this piece is gonna be parallel with the sides here, so. And you need an M312, and you just fit it in this corner, and then you wanna lock it in pretty much all there is to it, hopefully. And then this piece, the, the little nub that you see, that goes into the corner, or the, the top of the um, extra, uh, top hat. Okay, this one is now in, and then I've just got one more to do here. This one I, I did have to adjust a little bit with the soldering iron too, because it was uh, the angle wasn't quite right, but no big deal. It's easy to mess up these angles. <clears throat> so this one is going in just fine and dandy. All right, I'm gonna go through and just kind of tighten everything up, make sure that it's in good shape. And now the top hat is feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna try to put it on the actual printer and see if it fits. All right, good news, everything fits and it's looking pretty awesome. So very happy how that turned out. At this point, I think I'm done with this printer project. All right, one last thing that I wanna do is install this Bowden tube so that I can run filament to it, because otherwise with a fully enclosed top hat, um, there's no way to easily you know, just run filament to it because everything's enclosed. So I went ahead and removed the back panel and now I'm just gonna run this, um, this Bowden tube through the foot on the back right if you're facing it or the back left if you're behind it like I am now. I'm just gonna work my way up through here and then um, eventually I'm just gonna zip tie it onto the, uh, the the umbilical cord here. Okay, so the bone tube does fit into the mini afterburner hot end well, nice and tight. Um, it's actually a little challenging to get out, but it can be done. Now I'm gonna, I went ahead and move this to the forward position, um, probably to the forward right if you really wanna Make sure you've got the full travel. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie it in a couple spots and that way it'll stay in place. Okay, now I'm just checking the travel with it and it seems fine. The, the tube itself is traveling just fine. No real issues. So it's not hitting the belts or anything and it's not hitting the top pad either. All right, so I think I am done. All right, well, thanks for watching Greg's Maker Corner and my build series on the Voron Zero. Um, I hope you enjoyed the series and found it helpful. Um, I'm really excited about this new printer and uh, just really am enjoying the print quality already. So look, looking forward to a lot of future prints with it. So thanks for watching.